market for a small family estate. You may not quite have hit that family of five and all the buggies that go with it just yet, but you may need space for a little nipper, a family dog, and that occasional trip to the tip. And that's where the Ford Focus Estate comes in. It's deeply practical when you need it to be, and then it's surprisingly entertaining to drive when you don't. First things first, the boot, which thanks to a special floor and new repositioned dampers, the boot space is actually 119 millimeters wider than a Ford Focus hatchback. You also have lots of practical considerations for load lugging too, like no loading lip, 12 volt connectors, curry hooks, these chunky grab handles, and yet not forgetting a space saving rear tire. However, the area isn't actually that big. It's considerably less spacious than the Vauxhall Astra Sports Tourer and even the previous generation Ford Focus Estate. And another annoyance is that those rear seats only fold almost, but not quite flat. Inside is what we've come to expect from Ford with plenty of soft touch materials and quite a lot of architectural variation, making this a much more contemporary cabin than the Volkswagen Golf Estate. The driving position is excellent and there's plenty of cup holders and cubbies for storage with all cars receiving air conditioning, ESP and the digital DAB radio as standard. This posh titanium spec also adds part leather trim and hill start assist, while this digital dribble on the windscreen here is part of a technology bundle that includes lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control and roadside recognition that constantly scans the road ahead to project the latest speed limit onto your digital display. Because the Focus Estate rides on the same wheelbase as the regular five-door hatch, it means that unlike some rivals, it doesn't offer any additional rear legroom. That said, it's still a really decent space in here, and there's Isofix points for mountain child car seats. Small family estates have never been the most stylish cars on the block, but the Focus Estate is one of the better lookers. It's slightly longer than the more conventional five-door hatchback, though you still get that car's zigzag character lines, as well as Ford's signature trapezoidal grille, which now features an active shutter, which can either close to reduce aerodynamic drag, or open to improve airflow into the engine. Privacy glass offers security and style, while this chrome edging around the window line and the roof rails offers a touch of class. You may miss out on the hatchback's neat integrated fuel filler cap, but at least Ford's easy fuel system makes filling up at the pump completely idiot proof. The Ford Focus hatchback is the benchmark in both ride and handling for its class, and the Focus Estate also leads its field in driving dynamics. Even when the car is fully laden, the ride quality is spot on. Supple through the twisty stuff, and yet still composed and refined on high speed motorway runs though there is a little bit more noise translated into the rear of the cabin compared to its hatchback sibling. In terms of engines, the biggest talking point is the new range of EcoBoost petrol units, but load luggers should stick with the 1.6 TDCI diesel unit that produces 199 pounds foot of torque and 113 brake horsepower. The first two ratios on this six-speed gearbox may need a few more revs than what you're used to on a conventional diesel, but it never bogs down and the fuel economy figures are so impressive this car will appeal to both fleet buyers as well as families. The Focus may not be the most stylish or most practical small family estate, but it is the best to drive. It's also cheap to run, incredibly well built and comes loaded with tech. And that should make it a worthy contender in anybody's book.